Ah, it is what Saturday evening. I want to say January the 18th, but holiday weekend, MLK uh, holiday weekend. And man, it's feeling good out here. The sun has finally came out in Honolulu. The wind has finally subsided a bit. It's a good evening to be riding. And uh, I'm actually heading over to a little event somebody threw together called uh, Bikes and Boba. <laughs> I don't know, man. This place is funny. They try to put bikes with everything. Bikes and kimchi. Bikes and lychee. Bikes and karate. Who knows? Whatever. <laughs> but it's something to do. I haven't been out. I haven't seen a lot of the homies on twos in a minute. So that's where I'm heading to right now. Uh, I believe it's over at IAEA Shopping Center. So, yeah, not too far from uh, Central Control, the op center of everything that I do. Um, yeah, it's a good night. Just happy to be back on the bike again. Like I said, it's been it's been rough. And then today, I mean, a lot of people have been like, like almost cabin fever, fever, fever uh, cabin feverish, if you will, um, between the wind and the rain for the last few weeks. But that's what a Hawaii winter consists of: a lot of a lot of rain, a lot of precipitation, if you will. So it is what it is. Um, yeah, we out here today. It feels super good. Uh, fall is my favorite season, and this is like some really nice, good fall weather right here. Kind of reminds me of. Oh, my bad. I took my face shield and lifted it up for a second. Kind of actually reminds me of uh, that nice uh, fall San Diego kind of like weather. So, yep, bikes and boba it is. And then we'll see from there. Uh, like I said, haven't linked with the homies in quite a bit um, due to my bike being down and of course the weather. So, it's all good. Um, but I will say, after all these weeks of not being able to really ride uh, due to the really trashy weather, uh, I went to turn the bike on today and it was like, service. I'm like, uh, no, you only got 3,700 miles on you, buddy. So uh, I'm not hearing that service nonsense. And the good part of that, the bike spent in and out of the shop for different things, not just, you know, issues or anything, but mostly uh, mods and upgrades. So I think the first service after the initial break-in is supposed to be like 6,000 miles. So I'm barely, yeah, got over 2,500 miles to go on that. But I will say um, I'll at least look into it. But I know for sure none of my fluids are, are uh, dirty, contaminated, or even though I had to bike a year this month, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really stressing that. But you know, we'll keep it according to spec. If it says it needs to go to the shop, I'll have to get it to the shop and see what it is. But. I'm pretty sure it's just nothing. I think it's probably like, if anything, more of a, uh, a sensor kind of a thing. Like, yep, it's been a year, bro. You should have at least ridden me 100,000 miles. Um, take me to the shop. <laughs> For my 6,000 or 5,000 mile checkup in fluids and change or whatnot. <laughs> but um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, like I said, do what I gotta do. Uh, I think this place is over here somewhere. Yeah, hey, found it. Yeah. I feel so special. <laughs> I am the hey, one, the way your son don't need the guns to oh, get respect like upon the street. But alright, that's it for now, 808 Moto Lifestyles. So just came back from the Bikes and Boba event. 
and I, I, I must say I, it was pretty it was good to see people out enjoying the weather and of course and most importantly enjoying bikes so and it's not every day that you get to see a um, uh, Ducati 12.99 super logger. I mean, that yeah, it's, it's a race bike, and there's nothing you can just roll into the store and say, "I got the money to buy it. Give me my bike." That's not how it works. So that said, that was pretty cool. The uh, owner of the bike was pretty freaking cool as well. A uh, really nice guy. Uh, just extended some hospitality from his shop, so. Uh, go check them out. I uh, shopping center, second level. Uh, boba rabbit, rabbit boba. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I have to double check that, but I'll put it in the video. Um, yeah, real, real, real cool, real good vibes over there. And tomorrow is, of course, Sunday. So every Sunday there's a cornering ride. There's different cornering rides. But not every corner of the ride is the same. Uh, that said, um, get in where you fit in. <laughs> Guys, I roll with a pretty cool. And yeah, so we normally meet at 7 a.m. Uh, Anna Miller's. Sunday as a cornering ride. Uh, the location is pretty much stable, pretty much set at uh, Anna Miller's over here in Aya. 7 o'clock, 7.15, 7.30 show time, and I think kickstands are up 7.30. It seems like it's early in the morning because it is early in the morning. So you got to understand this is not about speed, it's not about recklessness, it's about cornering and cornering techniques. That said, uh, a lot of the guys that show up in gals that show up for this ride are actually in full leathers. And even if you're not, like I'm never not in full, ever in full leathers because I don't own any. And not necessarily wanting any anytime soon. Not my thing. Uh, at least not right now. <laughs> I'm lying. I priced some, but not yet. One day. We'll see. Uh, that said, a few moments later. Maria, uno sé si lo venía. Suave, a capella. Maria, uno sé si lo venía. Suave, a capella. Oh my God!